Thanks for all the free stuff, EA. We did a community shell challenge on this channel, and today we're going to look at some of my favorite entries. Before we get started, this is the shell that I built. It's on a 30 by 20 lot in Newcrest, and as you can see, it's two stories tall and also two stories underground. And it has just a few weirdly placed interior walls that you can't move. And before I could judge anyone else, I had to do the challenge myself. And so this is the build that I made using my shell. As you can see, I changed the roof shape entirely by using pillars and bringing the roof out. And that worked out really well. I like the way it came together. For the entrance, I have a little outdoor shower with a robe, and I have this little area where you can take your shoes off before you go inside. And then here's the main entrance. We've got an area for a cat. We've got a little reading nook with a bookcase and then a secret bookcase door, and we'll go down there later. Through here is the main living area. It's very much giving bachelor pad. It's giving Don Lothario's house in The Sims 2 a little bit. I also kind of went with a bit of a Dexter vibe too. Anyway, this wall right here that this archway is on, this is a mandatory wall. Uh, I just put it in the bathroom. I made the little toilet room. And then to get to the second floor, I actually put the stairs outside. And on this balcony, we have a hot tub and a telescope because again, like I said, it's giving Don Lothario from The Sims 2. And also it's giving Dexter because if I move this air conditioner, there's something hidden inside it, a little box. And then here's the bedroom. We've got this nice TV over the fireplace. On the other side of that is an office. We've got a balcony here with a chess table, a bathroom, and then this is just a closet. And over here is a yoga balcony. And then back on the first floor in this reading nook here, there's this secret bookcase door that leads to a ladder. And going down that ladder leads into this kind of unfinished area. It's basically just storage. There's this little slatted door down here where there's a little bit more storage but then if you go through this door it takes a very dark turn and if you're a fan of the show Dexter you know exactly what this room is I don't think I really need to say much more here's one of those mandatory weird walls and I wanted it to stand out and look out of place like something weird is going on here because there is something weird going on here there's also stairs here that lead down into the sewers and I'm sorry that you're not seeing the visual of effects of the mosquitoes right now. It's because we're in build mode and not live mode. But anyway, this is the sewer. And as you can see, our Sim has been disposing of their visitors down here. But yeah, that's my build. And my build is not eligible to win. And now let's go see some of my favorites of the community builds. Starting with the Newcrest Modern Gym by Naomi AE26. I really hope you like this modern Newcrest gym, complete with two fitness equipment rooms, indoor pool, basketball court, and a small canteen for when your sims get a little peckish or would like a rest after their workout. And here we are. We have a sim going inside the gym. Pay no attention to them. We're going to go ahead and do a quick perimeter check, though. The first thing I want to say is I really like the way you did the roofing on this. Oh, and this basketball court in the back looks great. I love that balcony, too. Oh, and this little garden area with the picnic table. All right, let's go in the front door. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. So there's like a little reception area right here. We've got a stairwell that goes up up and down. We've got the sign. This is cool. I really like this a lot. And then through here, we have some workout machines and some treadmills. And then there's our sim. That's Abby, by the way. And then let's go upstairs and there's a workout machine, a punching bag. Oh, a couple of punching bags, like a little coffee station here. Where does this door go? Is it into a bathroom? Yeah, it's into a bathroom. And then through here is the balcony. We've got a trash can, some dining tables or picnic tables, if you will. A nice overlook at that basketball court. How do I get out there? Ah, through here. Through this weird shape that I made on the shell. All right, we're outside the basketball court. Oh, it looks so cool out here. This is so well done. Look at this picnic area. This is beautiful. All right, let's go down into the basement now, which is down here. So down the stairs, the first thing we see is this, and also a stairwell 
Let's go down even further through this diagonal wall here. Oh, this is the canteen area they were talking about. I like the way they hid that weird diagonal wall here that was in the shell. And then we can go down even further into the sub basement and oh, it's a locker room. Yeah, that makes sense that there would be a locker room down here. So we got some showers over here. We've got some bamboo. We've got some benches. We've got some lockers. We've got some sinks, a couple of toilets. And then through here is a pool. Yeah, it makes sense that the pool would be just off of the locker room. Oh, this is really nice. Very upscale. I could not afford this gym. 10 out of 10. Wouldn't change a thing. Next is the Jerchester Mystery House by Nanaland69. Welcome to the Jerchester Mystery House, a very unique home with doorways to nowhere and hidden rooms. Who knows what could be lurking around the corner? Built by a madman who may or may not have experimented on folks that have taken a wrong turn. Then again, this home was made to lose your mind in, loosely based off the Winchester home. And this house is meant to be placed in Glimmerbrook on the same lot as Grace and Nancy and Tom X Colette's house. And it actually kind of resembles that house. You know, the house that had a staircase to nowhere. First, let's go ahead and do a perimeter check. I really love what you did with the roofing here. That is just beautiful. And I love this little birdbath area in the yard. Around back, we have a fountain, it looks like. Yeah, and there's a hedge maze here in a little private graveyard. That's so cool. Wishing well and an easel. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go inside. And then in the front door, definitely a spellcaster house for sure. Oh, I love this curtain over the entry to the kitchen. This kitchen is so cool. I love the way you did that cookbook. This is beautiful. Nicely done. And then here's the back door. Okay. And then we've got a little dining room. And then through here is a stairwell and a pipe organ. And Abby is not enjoying her book for some reason. Oh, this is cool. This window over the stairs to the basement. This is a really cute living room too. Let's go upstairs before we go downstairs. This is really cool. Oh, there's a door to nowhere right there up the rest of the stairs here We've got a chess area. That's cute. We've got it looks like a couple of bedrooms and a secret door We've got a little bathroom here. Okay, and then let's go in this door. This is the it looks like the master bedroom I really love that curtain. I love the ceilings everything about this room is just gorgeous. What's this? Is this a private bathroom? Oh, this is a balcony. Yeah, this is so cool. I love this. Okay. And then coming out this door, we can go in the secret bookcase door here and Abby's in here. I don't know why, but this is a very creepy room. What's going on in here? Uh, oh, oh, okay. The more you look around, the worse it gets. Oh my gosh. What's out here? Oh, this is a door to nowhere. Okay. Beautiful. Speaking of which, wasn't there one of those in the stairs? Yeah, right here is another door. Can I go through that? Yeah, oh, there's a whole balcony up here with a fireplace and everything. Planter boxes. I guess if you're a spellcaster or a vampire, you can get out here pretty well. Well, let's go back inside and go down the stairs. And I think there was a stairwell in the kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay. Here we go. Oh, hi, Abby. Going down these stairs here leads us to this area where, okay, there's another bookcase door. And we've got this area here, which leads down even further. Okay, let's go through here. What's in here? This is a creepy room full of mirrors where you can sit in a rocking chair in the corner. Um, no, I don't think I will, actually. What's through this bookcase door? Um... Oh, a computer. Well, I guess a typewriter is the intention here, but it's a computer. Okay, it's just like a little private office. I guess let's go down these stairs here by the ferry, and we've got another bookcase door. I think if you made it this deep in, you know that these bookcases are doors, right? So why are you still hiding them at this point? 
let's go in here first. Oh, this is a nice potion room. I like this. Oh, and see, there's another bookcase door. You kind of went a little overboard with the bookcase doors. What's in here? Oh, well, I understand why you were trying to hide the entrance to this room. Um, I certainly don't want to be in this room. Moving on, what is through this door? Oh, this isn't so bad. This is like definitely some storage for wine. Two heaters. Hang on a minute. Why is there two fireplaces down here? You're burning a lot in this house. Okay, what's through the last door? Oh, coffin. We've got little prison cells here on both sides with chains and stools and prison doors. Oh my. Oh, and of course there's skeletons in here because why wouldn't there be? Oh, and there's floor drains. I didn't realize that. Okay. When the vampire wakes up, they can just go ahead and eat and not worry about making a mess, right? Because their food is stored right there. Anyway, we're going to get out of here, but I love this build. I just don't feel safe in it. It has a lot of imagination. 10 out of 10, no notes. Next is Oasis Springs Modern by Pure Energy 72. World famous singer Zuri Ashante's chic Oasis Springs pad hosts swanky celebrity parties at night, but during the day, she hides her true identity and passions beneath the glitz. Discover what Zuri is hiding in the basement. And you know, we all love a good basement, but first, look at this exterior. Isn't this gorgeous? I love the carport here, and they didn't add any new walls. It looks like they used pillars and wall decorations that are just suspended in the air. Like maybe they built a wall and then hung those wall decorations up and then deleted the wall. And look at this cute pergola out here with the fountain behind it. Oh, that's just gorgeous. This landscaping must have taken forever. Ever. Everything is so lush. The swimming pool, the balcony. Oh, this is just beautiful. It's almost giving like a mid-century hotel kind of vibe. Oh, look at this area here. Gorgeous. I love it. We've got this little terrarium here. Oh, this is cute. A fireplace. Oh, I want to retire here when I get old. But let's just go in the front door. And oh my god, this color scheme is gorgeous. Are you for real right now? Look, there's food sitting out. This kitchen is beautiful. I love the little island too. The bread box on top of the fridge. This little room divider here. The chess table. That TV is huge. <laughs> What's this? Is this a bathroom? Yeah, this is a bathroom. Oh, and there's that terrarium that we saw outside. There's also a ladder that goes downstairs, but we'll look at that later. Let's go upstairs. Can we get upstairs from here? No. Oh, we have to go outside to go upstairs. It's on the other side of the pool. Let's just swim over there. And if we come up here, there's the outdoor trash bin cleverly hidden. Oh my God. This is amazing. Definitely getting hotel vibes here more like resort vibes actually yeah i want to live here so bad i love this little swing chair i love that you put a telescope on the balcony no one's ever thought of that before not even me oh and we've got an easel here with a painting already done oh very nice oh there are some stairs here to go to the first floor okay well let's go inside here on the second floor and oh this bedroom is gorgeous i love what you did with the room divider this fireplace is amazing little dressing area over here oh this is so cute oh my god this bathroom. This is so luxurious. Well, let's go down these stairs here that I didn't notice earlier because I went across that way instead. I guess it's time to go to the basement and see what's down there. Apparently there's a secret down there. Down we go. And there's a thermostat down here and I'm immediately greeted by fake bookcases. So, okay, we've got wine storage. This is cute. I will say this is cute. But there's another secret door. Let's go through here. What's in here? Um, okay, so this is a ladder that goes down to the next floor. Let's actually go through here first. Oh, a garbage area that's like underground in the void. 
There's no walls here, so it counts. This isn't breaking any rules. Okay, well, let's go down this ladder now and see what's down here. Oh, this is all very science-y. So we've got us a laboratory. There's something weird going on with the ceilings here, but very interesting. We've got a shower right here. We've got some alien plant life. Are those like baby mother plants or something? I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, and little doors that you can open to, I guess, feed it. This is such a weird room. Oh my God, more alien plant life. Experimental things. I found Abby. She's down here trolling on social media in this laboratory. Yeah, this, oh yeah, yeah, this is, uh, there probably should be a ceiling here. I'm not sure what happened, but this is still amazing. We've got a mostly complete elements collection, some more experiments going on, some lab equipment. Oh my God, this is incredible. But again, Abby, I don't think you're safe here. Girl, run. But overall, yeah, this is a gorgeous build. Honestly, no notes. Next is the Chic Tutor Oasis by Simateo916. Amelia, a creative simfluencer, resides in Windenburg, inheriting her tutor house from her mother. She converts it into a sanctuary for creativity and content creation, blending modern touches with its timeless architecture through DIY projects. Amelia's content creation includes interior design design, flower arranging, candle making, and sharing her fitness journey. And here it is. I love the way this build looks from the outside. Let me just say that right off the bat. I love the fact that you did a garage. This little gazebo moment out front is adorable. Around back, we've got this beautiful L-shaped pool, an outdoor fireplace moment with a couch and a coffee table, and this little garden area is just beautiful. Look at that. We even got this little shed and it looks like they used half walls to create this shed because the rule was that you couldn't create any new exterior walls. So very clever, very clever. Anyway, let's go around front and go inside. Should we go inside the garage first? No, let's go in the front door. Yeah, we'll go through here and, oh, there's a mailbox right here. Um, and oh my God. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love the round dining table. I always try to use round dining tables and end up not being able to. So the fact that you did that in this build, fantastic. This kitchen is really cute too. I really like it. And this area is very nice too. I really love this fireplace. And through here, this goes out onto the patio. Going back inside. There's a stairwell over here to get up to the second floor. So let's go upstairs and there's a couple of doors. Let's go in this first one here, which is a bedroom. I like the shape of it. It's very interesting. And we've got a couple of doors in here. I'm guessing this one is for a balcony. Yeah. Oh, this is a really cute balcony. Oh, and you've got some wind chimes out here too. That's adorable. And then let's go through this other door. I'm guessing, yeah, it's a bathroom. It's a very nice big bathroom too. And there's another door in the bathroom. Does this lead back into the hallway? No, this leads to a kid's room. Okay, so we got a little guitar in here, a desk and a bed, and I guess that's a dresser. It's kind of clipping into the wall, but that's okay. And then this must, yeah, this goes back out into the hallway. And then if we go back down to the first floor, then we go through here. I think this is how we get into the basement. Yeah, that's over here. Down here in the basement, this is where the laundry room is. And we've got a little fire suppression unit. This weird diagonal wall here and also over here, that's part of the shell. They did what they could with that weird wall. Don't blame them for the ugly wall, blame me. But this is a really cute laundry room. I really like it a lot. But let's go down into the lower part of the basement. We have a gym with some gallery artwork. I know this looks like it's custom content. It's not. It's just artwork from the gallery. I really like the mirrors in here. And we've got a little door here. Is this a bathroom? Oh, it's a bedroom. 
We've got another bedroom down here. Okay, and this is a very bright bedroom. It's giving teenager. Maybe that teenager is the content creator because here's all that hobby stuff they talked about. Flower arranging, candle making. Yeah, this is that content creation area, isn't it? Oh, yep, it sure is. Look at this area. Oh, that is so cool. She's got her background for when she makes videos. This is so cool. I love this so much. She is such a YouTuber. What's through here? Okay, this is the bathroom. This is really cool. So she has her own bathroom down here with a double vanity. There's two doors here. Where's this one go? Oh, okay, the toilet. And then this one goes into the bedroom down here. That basement, chef's kiss. Next is the Creepy Landlord Rental by Sims by Kirby. This rental property appears to be a tropical paradise at first glance. It features a large shared backyard with a pool. There is on-site laundry. It's not really that creepy of a basement, as well as a gym and storage lockers. No, really, the basements aren't bad. It hardly feels like someone is watching you. The landlord has their office in the basement, but they never seem to leave. Probably not too concerning. Here we are, and since this is a residential rental we're going to tour this one unit at a time but we're also i guess going to look at the shared space we're doing our exterior perimeter check first and i really love this i love that swing set over there i love this back patio area oh this is beautiful this is so cute oh look at that pool with the fairy lights and the loungers and the grill this is beautiful Oh, and there's the dumpster too. What have we here? Just a little seating area. We've got some private balconies. Okay, well, let's go inside the main door here. I feel like this is probably the main entrance to the building. Yeah, this is the main entrance to the building right here. Oh, this is really cool. Ooh, what's through here? Is this the first apartment? Yeah, this is the first apartment. So before we look at that, I guess let's go downstairs first. Yeah, this is the shared space down here. We've got a little bulletin board and some lawn chairs. And here is the laundry room. Very cool. And then what's through here? The utilities? Yeah, just a utility room. And there's that weird diagonal wall that I have in the shell. And then we've got the other one here. And then if we go down into the lower basement, that's a two-way mirror. Probably nothing to be concerned about. And then what have we here? We've got like a little office area. Oh, secret bookcase door. Okay, yeah, that's not concerning at all. There's a bathroom right here with a shower. Okay. Oh, there's a gym down here. Oh, and there's Abby. Hi, Abby. So this is a nice gym. This isn't bad. I like this. It almost makes you forget that there's a two-way mirror on your way into this room. And then what's through here? Storage lockers, it looks like, for the individual units. Okay. Dare I go through that door? I'm thinking through this door is the landlord's apartment. Yeah, I can't see this right now. Okay, yeah, that's the landlord's apartment. We'll come back. But let's go ahead and look at the first apartment in this building. We've got this apartment right here where there's the beads in the door on one side. Oh, and there's the mail. And then on this side, we've got this door. I'm, is this a bathroom? No, this is a bedroom. Okay, I like this bedroom. Oh, and there's an air conditioner right there above it. And this little bay window. I like that. Oh, and this dressing area. That is too cute. Even on the bedside table, you got a little bit of personality here with the perfume and the glasses and the plant. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, we've got a little galley kitchen. That's cute. I like that. I've been in a lot of apartments that have these types of little galley kitchens. Then if we keep going through here. So this is the living room for this unit. So we saw this open area here with this patio access. Yeah, that was for this unit. Okay. And then if we go in here, is this a bathroom? Yeah, this is the bathroom. So I guess that's it for the first apartment then. And it looks like the second apartment is upstairs. So let's go ahead and go up these stairs here. And yep, here is the second apartment. And oh my God, this is so cool. I love these loud colors in here. The archway, beautiful. Okay, let's start with this kitchen here with the orange fridge and orange stove. I love that. I love this window. I love these painted doors. This bathroom is so cute. 
So what's through here? Is this a bedroom? Yup, it sure is. And it's a really cool bedroom. And it has its own private balcony off of this bedroom. Oh, yup, with an easel. And then if we go back through here, there's also a balcony off of the main living space here. I really like this a lot. And oh, you can actually get back downstairs from here too. Okay, I really like this apartment a lot. It has so much personality. I want to live here. But I guess it's time to go ahead and look at the landlord's apartment next. And that last apartment is in the basement. So if we go through the landlord's office here and through this secret bookcase door, we have the landlord's office. And it is dingy in here. Abby is in here watching TV. Pay no attention to her. But we have the window mirror that looks out on everyone that's coming down the stairs and oh i just noticed the werewolf graffiti is the landlord a werewolf that would especially make sense with why there's cracks on the walls down here yeah, there's even more werewolf art right here. Okay, I think the landlord's a werewolf. And in here is a bathroom. Nothing fancy. Looks kind of dingy. Little single bed. Not even a double bed. But I love this build. Good job with it. And also, good job with the roofing. I didn't even mention how well you did with the roof on this build. And sadly, that's all I have time for in this video. But I did tour a bunch of these builds on live stream, both on TikTok and Twitch. I think we did four total streams where we just did nothing but tour builds. Those we just toured today were some of my favorites. And now I ask you all to vote for your favorite. And I've created a poll on Patreon to gather your votes and choose a winner. Don't worry, it's a free public facing poll. You don't have to pay any money to vote in it. And the winning build will be featured in my downloadable save file, also available on Patreon. Follow the Patreon link in my bio or link tree to get there. Thank you to everyone who participated in this challenge, not just the top five, but everyone. There were a lot of entries and there's no possible way we could get through all of them. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.